Hello everyone, this is Matthew Bradley with Hallmark Volkswagen and Cool Springs and today we're in the 2018 Volkswagen Tiguan SEL Premium and this is a short little video about the digital cockpit from Volkswagen. So you may ask, what is a digital cockpit and what does that mean for me? Well, what Volkswagen has done is they've removed the standard analog gauges like you get in most cars and they've replaced that with this all new digital screen you see here on the video. So what this allows you to do as the driver is manipulate the information that's there on the screen and keep what's most relevant to you right in front of you at all times while you're driving. So if Bluetooth information is most important, you can do that. If the radio station you're on is more important, you can do that as well. So what we're going to do today is run through a couple of different views they have and we're going to use the controls here on the right side of our steering wheel. We're going to use these silver buttons, the up and down arrows, and the OK to make our selections. So there's several different views you can get with the digital cockpit. And if we're using our silver buttons, we're going to arrow over to the right. That's going to give us the menu here. It's going to show that we're in classic view right now. You can move down to gear and speed, select OK, and it will change the middle of those gauges to reflect that right now I'm in park and of course I'm doing zero miles per, per hour. I can move down to economy and range, and that will give me on the left average miles per gallon since I started the vehicle, and on the right, distance to empty. You've got another screen down here. You can go to driver assist systems, and that will give you on the right, it will give you a compass with the vehicle inside it, and on the left, what looks like a puzzling, just kind of a blank screen. Well, what that actually is, is a screen to help you out with your adaptive cruise control. So if I turn the system on, you'll see that screen change just a little bit. And then if I use the button over here on the left side of the steering wheel to manipulate my distance using adaptive cruise, that will also be reflected on the screen of the digital cockpit. So you can select your new distance from the vehicle in front of you using adaptive cruise. That will reflect there in the digital cockpit. If you turn the ACC system off, that will also be reflected there. So another view you can use, if I use my silver button on the right, get my view list, I can go down another one and get off-road view. And that will give me on the left a steering angle and on the right a compass again. And there is one of the most popular views on here is navigation. So I need, do need to address that. So let's hit OK and select navigation. That gives you on the left side, it gives you an altitude reading and on the right side gives you a compass. Now, this is kind of your standard navigation view. Nothing really in front of you, just keeps your tachometer and speedometer there on your left and right. Now you do have in the SEL Premium the Discover Media navigation system here in the middle of the vehicle. Gives you a nice 8 inch display, full color navigation system right there. It's very nice, but what you have the ability to do with the digital cockpit is take that map and move it over here to the digital cockpit so it is right in front of the driver. What we're going to do is arrow down, and we're in the navigation menu, and we're going to hit display map. And that moves the map from the Discover Media system to the digital cockpit so it's right in front of the driver. However, there's one more view you can do. If I arrow down into that menu one more time, now you see there's an enlarged map display option. So if I go down here and click that, it is going to shrink the two gauges on the right and left and give me a little bit more map to see. Here we go. That way I still can keep up with my speed and my revs. It still has my engine temperature down there. My fuel gauge is on the right, but I have this nice, crisp, clear map I can see and keep up with my directions while I'm driving. I don't have to look down into the vehicle. So that's just a short video on the digital cockpit and some of the views that you can get with it. I hope it's helped you out, and I hope you like the Volkswagen Tiguan. Stop by sometime, and I'll help you, I'll help you out with any questions that you may have. Have a good day.